Hey kids, it's Dad and my good friend, Sarah. Hey Tommy. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. And we're actually in Tempe, Arizona. We just had a yummy breakfast. What was the name of the place? Encounter. Encounter. That's open to 3.05 in the afternoon, 7 o'clock to 3.05. And what a beautiful town. And no, it's, I know it's hot for Wisconsin people, but for Phoenix, it's beautiful. It was a beautiful day. It was like 80 this morning. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So Sarah and I, this is the first time we're meeting. We've met uh, virtually with our connection from Verizon. And now we've met for the first time physically. Great connection, talking families, talking, uh, we talked a little Israel talk. We, we talked did. We talked a little law school, a little college. Um, LPS, don't forget. Oh, Littlest Pet, Pet Shops. Shops. Oh, Emma, Littlest Pet Shop. Oh my gosh, <laughs> can't have, that's right. Little <laughs> LPS goes far and wide. It's amazing it the influence that that has. So. We have some viewer mail here, and I thought, you know what better way? It was asked to me, but I thought, why not? Let's bring Sarah in on this whole thing. So, no, no, they're actually written down here and in no order. No order of importance or anything. So, question number one. What is your top high school prom horror story? You take it first. Okay. I don't really have one because I didn't go to prom. Maybe that's the horror of the whole <laughs> thing is I didn't go to prom. No, um... I didn't go, nobody asked me, and uh, I just ended up hanging out with my next door neighbor who everyone thought was gonna go with like the prettiest girl or right. whatever, cause he was like on the football team and the baseball team and stuff like that, but nobody asked him. And so I got to hang out with like the most eligible guy in my high school and we just sat in the front yard and uh, we made a, like a swimming pool and would put uh, like, did like pretend fishing in it. So you see, you had a blast. We had an awesome time. So that's really not a horror story. That has a total happy no. ending. But you didn't go to prom, which at the time probably thought, oh, that's kind of beat. Um, we did go in and like kind of hang, you know, after prom, everyone kind of hangs out and stuff like that. And it, for us, some people did bonfire. So we went out there and stuff like that. And everyone's in their prom clothes. And we're just kind of like wearing whatever. I know that kids these days there's like the anti-prom that some of the kids will yeah. will just goof around and do and do that or you know I know uh, some girls will just get in their prom dress and just go stag okay that's no problem either uh, for me okay here's my story gosh I put so much weight on this I wanted like a rental car I wanted a tuxedo look really nice and I asked this girl named Heather Heather I love you she'll probably watch this I'll actually tag her in this and um, and I'll, I'm gonna post a picture of it. It was awkward cubed, just super awkward. It was like one of my first dates I ever did. And uh, you know, you just want, you went to the, we went to the country club for dinner and it was just, oh, it was so horrible. We didn't do much dancing together. She was sitting there by herself and uh, it was just, it was just such an awkward time in your life. You're 17, you don't know what you wanna do. You don't, it's like, ah, uh, should you hold hands? Should you do this? It was just rotten, just <laughs> rotten to the core. I've learned a lot since, mm -hmm. lot since. So, okay, great question. Let's move on because we've got a lot to talk about here. Holy cow. Okay, Sarah, three tech things you can't live without. And if you can't think of three, that's fine. But three things you can't live with, tech things you three can't tech live things. with. Three tech things. Phone, of course. Phone, okay. Actually, this is just one of them because I have an iOS, I have an OS device, then I have an Android device because you kind of have to know both of them. Yep, oh yeah, yeah, you got to speak both. Working for Verizon, you got to speak both languages. Both languages. Okay, so, yes. Um, so that will only count as one. Smartphone. One. Smartphone. Um, I don't have it with me. But it's in my car. Um, I have a portable, uh, like a Mophie. I actually have a Mophie. Oh yeah, but so the, your portable the, hotspot. The portable. No, the the power. Oh, the power thing. Sorry, sorry. I told totally you right. the, the the Morphe juice pack. So you got the yeah. port. Yep, yep. So more, um, I actually have a whole bunch of different brands of them. Yep. And, uh, you can't those, be without power because this does no good if it's dead. No. You're done. Dead. And then my uh, third tech thing, which really it's like not like tech tech, I guess, but girls will appreciate it. It's a Clarisonic. It's for like a face scrub thing. Oh. It's like it has that sonic technology, like the toothbrush, but it's like it's a scrubber for the oh. face. Oh, so your pores and it'll look yeah. all beautiful. Oh, yeah, And yeah, it's yeah. like it's super, super cool. My husband uses it too. Oh, it's for guys too. You gotta keep your skin soft and supple. You have to. Okay, you, have you, gotta, to. you gotta look good on these videos. Oh, goodness gracious, absolutely. You don't, you don't, you can't get this body out of a bottle unless you press real hard. You gotta work <laughs> it. Okay, so. I would have to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go along with you. The smartphone that goes everywhere with me. I love that. I really like my Jawbone Up, and the reason I like it twins. is not. Oh, twin twinners, Jawbones. Um, but the reason I like mine is I do like counting the steps, but I like the alarm function in it. 
so that it wakes me up in the morning. I actually have it set so just a little buzz, zzz, 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 and I like that. I like the ability to, uh, I don't have to wake up the whole house when I get, get oh, up in the so morning. Cool. Oh, I, I, have, I have a program that part of mine. I'll have um, to do that. Yeah. I have the buzzing when I'm sitting too long. Yes, I do too. And actually, did you know it has an alarm function? Did you even know that? That I probably didn't. Yeah, I think that. you just slide the app to the left or the right, and then you can set up your alarms. Oh, I, lo oh, I like that. Oh. Yeah, that's good. And number three, I think it's gonna have to be probably the Bluetooth capabilities in the car. I oh, like those are cool. I like the hands-free. I I've always I even though sometimes I have a wired headset because I don't want to set the Bluetooth up for here and then head has all my contacts and information yeah. and I forget when I return it. So I got my wired headset here, but I really. I'm not a big fan of holding the phone up to the ear and being the distracted driver. I'm distracted enough as it is. I don't want that adding to me. So there's my three. Phone, did it? Okay, good, 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 good. good. Okay. Good. okay. Bluetooth, yes, yes, yes. Okay, Sarah, how do you like your eggs cooked? I like my eggs cooked. Uh, poached. Poached eggs. I'm not a big poached eggs guy. I like my eggs scrambled. Scrambled's good. I, my grandma used to make me poached eggs when I was a kid, that's why. Grandmas are the best, grandmas aren't are the they? Grandmas are the best. Grandmas, grandmas rock. Are rock. Oh, I love grandmas. I could do a whole show on grandmas. Grandma and grandpa. Okay, last question. This is a juicy one. Okay, Sarah, home on the couch or evening out on the town? Totally home on the couch. I'm, I'm kind of with you. I want to be going on the, the town, but you know, there's something about a little bit of Netflix and my sweetheart, maybe some ice cream. I think I might I be with, with you there. I just, it's just some, the, the, the out on the town, I just, maybe like, I never really was. I'm like, I just can't. I don't like going out with, you know, fighting the the younger people. And the thing is, is that they go out on the town, but they do this the whole time. I do though. <clears throat> like, I talk to people. I like getting all dialed up. I like to just get my oh, sweetheart yeah. all dialed up, and I like to go out to a show, whether it be whether it be a play, you know, Family of the Opera. I went to Family of the Opera with my daughter. I thought that was great. That I got the jacket. Actually, there's, there's a jacket right there because I don't know what's going to be going on the rest of the weekend. But it's certainly um, I like doing that. But there's something about just kind of falling asleep on the couch, watching a little TV, and and that kind of thing. You don't feel like you you. Uh, just spent $120 on, on show tickets. I'm torn. On the couch. I'm going to go down the couch. Yeah. The couch. Every once in a while, out on the town is good. Oh, right, right, right. Sarah. Now, if you don't have a good couch, you better go on the town. Or oh. just buy a good couch. Oh, yeah. You, you have bet. a good couch? I do. It's like kicks it up and you. Oh, that's nice. I can take naps <laughs> on it. Sarah, what's your blog? Saving for Someday is my. Saving for Someday. Sa saving for Someday. Is my personal dot com. Blog. Yeah. Sarah Hawkins. I have another one. Hit it. SarahFHawkins.com. That's my legal one. That's where I like tell people a lot, a lot of good information for small businesses, entrepreneurs, some legal info. Absolutely. You need legal help, Sarah. <laughs> you know where you can get a hold of me. What a true. What's the F stand for? Francis. Francis. I love that name. Francis. Awesome. Sarah Francis. Yeah, it was I'm named after my great grandmother. Her name was Frida. I'm glad I'm not Frida. Frida. It's a nice 1800s name. Grandpa Clifford. <laughs> Grandpa Clifford. Robert F. Clifford. The F stands for Fulton. Remember, Steve, remember Robert Fulton? Uh -huh. Steam engine? Yeah. Related. So when you use your steam engine, I get a kickback. Okay, kids. This is Dad. I love you, Madeline. I love you, Claire. I love you, Tommy. I love you, Emma. And I love you, Drew. Live from Phoenix, Arizona. Thanks, Sarah. What a treat to meet you. We will talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.